I'm Terry Oracle, and this is a reading for SH. SH wants to know, um, what can I do better, no, what can I do to better my personal situation? How do other people view me? What are my greatest strengths or weaknesses? What blocks me from building contacts, and how can I overcome it? That's a lot. All right, so we will be using the Golden Reverie Tarot for, is that it? Gilded Reverie Tarot from Chiro Marchetti. And I purchased the cloth, as you can tell. So we are going over um, their question, and let's try to find out some information here. So uh, what do we have? We have the houses, which Google randomly picked the starting house, which was six over here. So now we laid everything out, and we have a nice uh, layout. So the first thing I noticed is the middle. So the middle is sort of the focus, if you will, of the tarot uh, cards, not tarot, well, the, the Lenormand cards. So here we have the bear with a key over it. It seems like that the key is to have a little more assertiveness over some of the situations to where you're getting kind of hosed or you're getting a bit um, run over, per se, by some other people. Obviously, maybe not at work, but maybe personal situations, maybe there are things in your life to where you could have been a little more assertive instead of, you know, being passive because you wanted to make someone happy or being passive because you wanted this to go well or you had some other intentions or whatever. So it seems like the key is the bear. So the bear is the authority. The bear is being a bit more assertive, being more communicative with what you want and what you need. So more like a negotiation maybe. So you have somebody has an idea to where you're working, they're going to work you to death or, you know, whatever. So then you say, hey, I like that idea, but maybe we can revise it a little bit. So instead of me working 15 hours, you could throw some help and we both work eight hours and get it done twice as fast. So, you know, things like that, a little negotiation, nothing like just pounding, you know, being a, a, a douche or anything, but just sort of a little more negotiation, a little more assertiveness, a little more communication about what you need and what would benefit everybody that could also benefit you as well instead of just benefiting others. So that that's the center card that seems to be the the focus of the uh, the random draw. The next thing we have is the oh the garden over the snake. So it seems like that within your circle of friends, within the circle of people you know, you do have some people that are a bit um, a bit like a snake, a bit negative, a bit on the a bit on the wasteful side of communication. Maybe they don't come up with original ideas or good ideas. Maybe they don't communicate a lot of positive things. Maybe they're really negative or they're gossipy or something like that. It seems like you have that in your future. Let's assume this is past and this is going to be future. So you have that within your future as well as you probably have it, I mean, a little bit now. I think we always have that a little bit in every situation. But as far as that concern, make sure to avoid that type of behavior. Make sure to sort of, sort of skate out a bit or not participate as much or not get caught up in. Maybe find people that are a little more optimistic or a little more good with their time. So it's sort of like being surrounded by people that are that are beneficial and positive. Uh, people that are smarter than you, people are better than you in the things you're interested in so that you grow as a person, you grow in those areas, you grow in your communication uh, and things like that. So it seems like that we have an issue with uh, some drama. So just make sure and don't be within that drama as much and try to skate out of it as much as you can and avoid those type of people or minimize your, your time with them. So, so the next thing we have is the ring over the clouds. So it seems like that, um, based upon this, it seems like that commitment is coming within your future, but it's a very clouded type thing. It seems like one person wants commitment, another, the other person does not want commitment. Uh, it just seems like there's a negotiation going on there that is a losing negotiation. In other words, someone has a lot of interest in this and someone else does not have as much interest. So you need to sort of balance that out. In other words, 
if you're deeply interested in something, pay attention to if the other person is interested in it as well. They could be not as much interested in it as you. So look out for those signs. Don't just go in and go, yes, this, we want this, let's do this. Um, sort of gauge how the person's feeling about it first and see if they're really into it and excited just like you are, or they not so much because there seems to be a mismatch in between the level of commitment between those things. So just make sure that both people are within there. Um, as well as, let's see, the mask and the star. That's unusual. That's just weird. Let's come back to that. All right, let's go over here to the bouquet. All right, so, um, ah, man, the coffin, really? Um, okay, so in the future, I'm assuming this is the future edge over here. We have the bouquet over the coffin. So uh, it looks like that some of the projects that you're working on are not gonna work out. So these are things that are probably important to you. These are things that you really wanted and you really wanted a lot of it. So before you put a lot of effort into a project, before you put a lot of money into a project or anything like that, make sure to really, really research it and ensure that the project is gonna turn out like you think it is. If uh, make sure to do your extra diligence so you don't lose any money so that um, so, so that you don't waste a lot of time. It looks like you're chasing something that is not able to be to succeed. So make sure before you start chasing that, before you start chasing that person, I'm, I, I, I don't think it's a person with a bouquet, before you start chasing that project or before you start chasing this hobby or something like that, Make sure it's realistic. Make sure it's a good use of your time and things like this. So that seems to be what's over here. All right, then we have time with love. And I'm assuming this is in the past. So it looks like that you have some time spent either looking for love, trying to get love, things like that. Sort of relax and let it come to you. Don't be chasing it as much. Um, this is just a general... How do other people view me? What are my greatest strengths or weaknesses? Things like that. Okay, so I'm sort of I'm sort of jiving with this, just reading this. All right. So it seems that a lot of time is devoted to love. If it's if it's chasing love, if it's trying to find love, if it's um, researching something or doing something to get love, it seems that that time could be better spent elsewhere. And your your soul or your guidance that you have within you has already been directed that direction that you want love, this relationship, you want this type of thing uh, when it comes to relationships and love and things that make you happy. So the universe already knows what you want. Uh, it's time to let go of that. So it's one of those things, if you read most of the New Age books of forever, they basically say concentrate, focus on what you want, make sure the universe knows what you want, knows the direction you want to go, and then release it. So it seems that you have not done that releasing part. So I would say, go ahead. The universe already knows what you want. You spend enough time chasing this. Go ahead and release it and let the universe come to you. Let the universe settle it or finish it for you rather than you chase it. At some point, you have to get it out of your mind. And it seems like this is the time to do that as well. All right. So it seems, again, we have the end of the gossip or the end of the just the unfocused mind, um, I would say get a little into meditation. Get a little into the focus of not having ramblings go through your head because this sort of relates to this love and it sort of relates to cutting off the path as well. Um, when we talk about impatience in a minute, um, it seems that between this and this, sometimes you have a bit of impatience. I want something and I want it a little sooner then it's realistic. So uh, we have the pathway and the side, cutting off the path, right? Cutting it off, trying to make the path shorter, trying to get things done quicker. Um, I've had the same situation where, like I tried to learn a musical instrument and I was so impatient. I was just like, I, I want to get it now. I want to get it now. So I would do it over and over and over. And I would get slightly better, but because I didn't do it every single day for long periods of time, I never really got any better. <laughs> but th that's me and my impatience. But uh, it basically says, Study a little meditation, get your mind a little calmer, don't have the mice running around, don't have the, the sort of the, the random thoughts. So put it into that and focus mainly on 
getting your mind calm, maybe some meditation, some light meditations. You know, just 10 minutes a day, you can do some meditation to get your mind focused on what you need. And that's going to come into play with finding the people that, that are causing the drama in the future, as well as the projects that's sort of not going to work out as well as you had thought. Um, cutting those off as well. The meditation, the clear mind, and getting the patience to, um, to do some things. So cutting off the path, the side with the uh, pathway, the stairs, it seems that you go through pathways to get to somewhere and you want to cut it off short. You want that, that instant gratification. And we see this possibly here as well. Um, I don't know. And then we have this. Um, so basically, to me, this sort of points to the, again, where we have the people that are gossiping, the things that you're, you're using your time for that you could be using your time for something more productive. So, uh, again, that's what, um, what blocks me from building contacts, what blocks you from building contacts. So let's, let's round it up. Let's go through each of your questions. What can I do to better my personal situation? Learn to meditate. Start meditating just 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, and do that stuff. Focus on being more assertive. Focus on negotiating things when they're not going your direction and see if you can get those to be in your direction. I still have no idea what this is. Uh, we're going to do a better of a personal situation. Watch out for gossipers. Stay away from people that waste your time. Stay away from it. You're going to have a situation come up. Uh, when are they going to come up? You're going to have a situation come up. Um, yeah. I'll say in the next three months to where you're going to need to do negotiations and it's going to be a hard negotiation of something that you want and the other person is not going to want it. You're going to have to be able to get the negotiation skills to get that done. Um, let's see. So how do other people view me? They view you as you want it now. Maybe you're a little bit impatient sometimes when you're really excited about something. You're not as assertive as you could be. Assertive meaning you're good at negotiating. You know, assertive doesn't mean be a douche. Assertive means, you know, be, be good at negotiation. Um, and they see you may be impatient sometimes when you get excited about things. Um, you're focused on something a bit too long. Uh, they're not going to see your future, which I'll see over here. So that, that's my opinion about what they see. What are my greatest strengths or weaknesses? I think your, your strength is your intelligence. You obviously have the intelligence to get all of this stuff done, but your intelligence is kind of hurting you in some regards as far as the impatience is concerned, as far as the creating your own reality, as far as uh, being a little passive, trying to think maybe if I'm this way, um, as well as, as you see people more positively um, than necessary sometimes, or and you, and you have people that are wasting your time, so... Uh, let's see. What blocks me from building contacts and how can I overcome it? Um, again, pretty much the same answer for that. We're running on 13 minutes. It's a long one. All right. Well, cool. Um, thank you for the question, HM. Hopefully uh, this has been a little bit on target. Let me know. And that is the end of the reading. If you want your own reading, please uh, email me. At the description below has an email address. And if you like this, hit like and subscribe. It helps me to get more people viewing. We can have some fun, have a big party. A bunch of us get together and do all this cool stuff. Thanks for watching.